Windows Sandbox is a feature introduced by Microsoft in Windows 10 version 1903 that leverages the Windows containers to quickly and easily set up a disposable virtual machine for safety testing on own executables and other purposes. Now, to enable Windows Sandbox, you need to have at least Windows 10 Professional or Enterprise, and the same applies to Windows 11, you need to have the Professional or Enterprise Edition, and hardware virtualization must be enabled. To turn it on, it's quite easy, you just navigate to the Control Panel, Programs and Features, turn Windows Features on and off, and you can find it here. Of course, after you turn it on, you need to restart your machine. Now, once you've done that, a new executable called Windows Sandbox will appear. And this basically just opens up a new Windows Sandbox image. So, as you can see, right now it's up and running. And if we close it, the state reverts. So, Advanced Installer took advantage of this new feature that was added and now you can repackage your own applications directly into the Windows Sandbox. So, starting with version 20.7, you can open up the Advanced Repackager and you can capture any setup you like. Uh, again, we also have the Session Monitoring uh, option, it's explained in other videos or articles. But for the purposes of this video, let's go ahead and capture the VLC executable. And as you can see, we have the Start in Sandbox uh, button. So, if we click it, we first need to save our repackager build. So, let's say uh, VLC test uh, Windows Sandbox. Okay. And now the Windows Sandbox will open and Advanced Installer will start installing the Advanced Installer tools on the guest operating system so that it can perform all the actions that it does in the background. Now we just ignore this. Now the guest instance of Advanced Packager started in the background as you can see and it's performing all the chores that it has to do in the beginning, for example, uh, start an initial capture and then install the package. And as mentioned, once the initial system snapshot has been processed, we will start to install the package, in this case the VLC Media Player. We will just install it as default, uh, maybe, yeah, no, let's leave it as default and click install. Okay, we are not going to run the VLC Media Player, we are just going to click on Finish. I don't want to configure anything else. Uh, if you want to do any further adjustments or modifications to the system, you can do them now, but I don't want to do anything, so I'll just hit Enter to continue the operation. This will collect all the data that the process, mon uh, process monitor gathered, and it will compare the initial snapshot and the final snapshot, and it will generate our repackaging project. Now, is if we close this, we can see all the files captured, for the video LAN, all the registry, we also have other uh, shortcuts here which we can delete, but of course it's better to uh, edit the project directly into Advanced Installer. So I hope you find this video useful, click a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!